here we go again here is another video of evidence that Jesus Christ's face is everywhere the best thing about it is that he told us all about this like about 2,000 years ago which is so puzzling to me like why does a guy like me <laughs> get the huge privilege of bringing this message to the world like I haven't studied anywhere near as much as most priests about Jesus or so many people but something so obvious just slips right through their hands and so excellent too all you gotta do is look at his face for a moment and all your troubles just disappear it's the truth and if you look for it anywhere you will find it because it is there thing is we're in a whole world of trouble right now um, the ocean is dying the sky is dying um, the rivers here in Mexico are uh, totally dead most of them anyways at least where I live makes you sick right but the worst thing of all is that everyone turns a blind eye to it just like they turn a blind eye to God just like all of God's creation is completely obvious like hey there's no other feasible explanation for it uh, evolution has so many holes in it uh, you can't even call it a net it's just a big hole and it's such a shame that our, ch our children are taught and we're all taught that we're monkeys so we all act like monkeys right so everybody thinks that there's no eternal punishment but let me tell you my friend there is and thank god he sent me there I only heard this big voice in my head about three times no four times in my life the first time was really confusing because it was the first time right but it was this really big loud voice it said I chose you because you have a strong mind and I thought well under the circumstances like I just found out that I was living with someone who practiced witchcraft and I just found out that uh, on the same day actually the boss not my boss actually the owner of the company that I was working for uh, was also practicing witchcraft like worshipping the devil and they wanted me to join them and I I just thought that was like the stupidest thing you could possibly do like you're just asking for eternal hell eternal I was there for about five seconds it seemed like quite a bit longer than five seconds I think maybe it was actually like 10 12 seconds or something it was so long ago but I still have like a vivid memory of it in my mind um, that was the third time that I heard that voice it said stop doing that or I'll send you to hell but really really loud like way above and beyond like normal thoughts and I didn't stop what I was doing I was doing something really shameful I don't even want to say it and uh, I ended up in hell Just hugging my knees all of a sudden in a world like this one I could see the horizon but the horizon was black uh, you could see the f black fire getting cooler and turning blue all you could hear all I could hear was fire big roaring fire <sighs> just indescribable suffering I was burning like from the inside out and uh, then I said God why am I here didn't answer me God take me out of here please didn't answer me and I started saying Jesus Christ take me uh, and all of a sudden I was back in this world no joke 
Like, I've had dreams all my life. People are like, oh, maybe you were dreaming. Mm, no. This was not a dream. I've dreamt, like, well, I'm 32 years old. Like, how many times have I had a dream? <laughs> this was not a dream. Uh, anyways, that was the third time. The second time, I went to see this priest, and I heard this voice. I forbid you to speak with him. And I was like, the second time, I still didn't know who it was. But the third time, after <laughs> after he sent me to hell, I was like, okay, you are God. <laughs> Obviously, only God, no other thing, not the devil, nor nothing else can send you to hell. Only God has that power. And the fourth time, so wonderful. Around August, when I found out my wife was pregnant, I was kind of half sleeping. And all of a sudden, I heard this like super loud voice again. It was like eight or nine or maybe so years after the third time that I went to hell. Obviously, I'm not going to forget that. Uh, said to me, don't worry. She is with you. They're with you. The woman with great power protects you. Super loud and super clear. And I woke up again thinking, like, hey, wait, tell me more. And, oh, yeah, he said also, I can come in your mind anytime I want. And that's obviously God. Like, who's going to take your worries away from you? The devil's the one that puts worries in your mind. Unfortunately. At this time, but we're all going to be laughing at him forever. Because <laughs> he's going to burn forever in hell. For robbing us of the beautiful things that we have here on earth and making everybody sad but thank you very much I see you don't have much time left I told you about the four times God clearly spoke to me I believe he spoke to me many more times too but those were like the big times